I've never done anything for money. I've, I've always done it because I love doing it. And as a side effect, I get paid a lot of money, which is, which is a wonderful thing. I mean, I'm not going to deny that. But that was never the, uh, the sole motivation. Matt, tell me about obstacles. I mean, you know, a lot of business owners sometimes give up. Artists sometimes give up because they find obstacles along the way and they're having trouble overcoming these obstacles. Uh, could you share with us maybe some of your experience relating to difficult times or obstacles and how you found a way to get around them maybe or overcome them? You know, um, it's going to sound like an odd thing to say, but, uh, but uh, whenever a young actor says, should I be doing this? Well, for, for a start, if you have to ask me, then probably not. It's, it's something that I always say, don't do it unless you can't not do it. Uh, in other words, uh, don't go into it if you're just sort of going into it halfway. It's a vocation. It's like entering the, the priesthood. And it's, um, you know, if you're going into it uh, uh, willingly and, you know, with an open heart and a tough skin, you're going to do okay, what, whatever happens. I, the, uh, the problem is, is if you go into it with, with half measures, you're going to get beaten up. You have worked with some very successful film producers, film directors, other actors. Have you picked up some tips along the way working, watching Steven Soderbergh direct, for example? Um, Can you share with us? Sure. I, I did um, The Nick with Steven Soderbergh, and I, I was playing opposite uh, Clive Owen, a you know, wonderful actor. Uh, and the, one of the reasons he's a wonderful actor is because, he's yes, he's a leading man. Yes, he's a great-looking guy. But he's not afraid to um, hang his vanity at the door. I, and that's, w that's when your acting s starts. When you, when you leave the, the vanity behind. I mean, he's, he, he's a very clever actor that way. He's not afraid to be unlikable. As far as Soderbergh is concerned, I've never met anyone who's able to keep uh, as much information in his head at, at the, the same time. He, he was uh, directing, he was producing, he was uh, uh, operating the camera, and he was doing the lighting, and he was cutting the, cutting the episodes as we were doing them. He'd have prepared cut footage every Thursday. I mean, it was astounding just to have that amount of information.